Roughly Dia here and welcome back to a new Living Dead Doll review on my channel. So today I'm continuing on with the series 33 dolls, uh, the Mulle Morgue. And this particular doll is a really pretty one, if you ask me. Her name is Elea Von Terra. And honestly, I think her name sounds more German to me than French and that's really interesting because you know Mulle Morgue and all of the other dolls have French names but for some reason she to me she sounds more uh, like a German so I, I don't know I, I may be wrong I, I'm not sure but anyway I'm going to show you first the box and after that I will unbox her and show you her details so let's get started and this is how she looks up close in the box. Sorry about the glare, you know, again the plastic lid as usual. Um, the tissue paper for this series is red. And the coffin is the same old version, so nothing really interesting about it. And the front cover still has the same Living Dead Dolls uh, writing and cobwebs and such. And this is the chipboard. And it says Mulle Morgue on it. And you can see a nice deadly stage over there in the back. And it says Elefantera. And the chipboard poem reads, Knowing too much is sometimes a crime, especially when you work with society's slime. A theater of lust and gore soaked in disdain. A place where one wrong word brings more than just pain so yeah um, she likes to gossip a lot and uh, that's what that's how she died actually <laughs> so you will be able to see what I'm talking about uh, when I show you the details of the doll and her death certificate so let me just unbox her and here is Ella out of her box and she is really gorgeous she is not my favorite from this series you already know that but I think she's kind of like the I think my third favorite and I just really really love her colors the black white and purple it's just so um, beautiful and the doll is actually really beautiful if I do say so myself so um, yeah, before I show you up close the details, I just wanted to mention that she does not come with any kind of accessories besides her death certificate, which I will show you at the end of the video. So, let's get started. So, here is a close-up of her face, and as you can see, part of her face is covered with her hair. I'm not sure if this is only on my doll, or all of the Ella dolls have this, but I, I actually really, really like it. It gives her more mystery. And... Uh, Talking about her hair, you can see that it's short, it's black, and it has um, quite some hair gel on it, or hairspray. And I don't, I didn't really comb it out or do anything with her hair, because I just really like how it's styled, and I, it will just ruin it if you start combing out the hair gel, and it would ruin the style. And you can see that it's all wavy and it has some little curls in it, so it's really pretty. And she also has a dark purple little rose. Well, it's not really little, it's actually a pretty big rose here in her hair. And it's uh, held there with a little piece of Velcro. Now you can see that her skin is white. And she has beautiful teal eyes with some beautiful... Um, black eyelashes and a really really faint purple makeup and you can see that her face is covered with this little uh, piece of uh, I, I have absolutely no idea what it's what's this thing called it's like a little piece of fabric I'm just going to call it that I one of those things that the belly dancers have in front of their mouth <laughs> I, I don't know I'm pretty sure it has an official name but I don't know anything about it so I'm sorry about that you can see that it's see-through although it's black and it has um, purple trimming and it's held on with uh, some little uh, see-through elastic pieces that goes to her ears and it's there to show uh, I mean to uh, hide 
her mouth, which is her little dark secret. And this is how it looks. I'm not going to take it off completely because it's a pain in the, um, you know, where <laughs> to put it back. Uh, but you can see that her mouth is all gory and uh, bloody and you can see some huge um, stitches. And this is how she died. Uh, she, as I said before, she, is, she really liked to gossip and someone was pretty mad about it and stitched her mouth shut. And poor girl. Honestly, it looks like that they have knocked her teeth out, all of them, as well, so, um, yeah. I think I understand it, why she is hiding it underneath that little um, handkerchief thingy. Now, moving down, you can see that she has this cute little, um, like, a belly dancer top again. So, she has kind of like that belly dancer uh, um, slash moulemur fashion going on. And it's a cute little top with a bunch of purple uh, sequins on it and on the top you can see some black ones as well with some little uh, purple stripes and uh, it's separate from the bottom from the um, bottom piece so you can take it uh, apart now her skirt is huge and really really gorgeous it's all ruffled and it's multi-layered it actually has three layers you can see that it's black and it has uh, some purple ruffles going on around and in the front it's short and in the back it's long so there you go I'm back with you so it's a really nice um, dress and uh, it really does remind me of those dancer girls from the Moulin Mourg or the Moulin Rouge actually <laughs> so it's it's really nicely made I have to say that and last but not least she has cute little black uh, shoes or sandals and this is how they look so it's nothing really that interesting about them and that's about it for Ella let me just put this back on so that she can hide it. And she is a really gorgeous doll. Of course, that mouth is just really uh, gory about her, but otherwise she is really, really pretty. Now let's see her death certificate. So this is how her death certificate looks, and it says Elephant Terra. And the poem reads, Elephant Terra knew the truth secrets of the show. So management decided she just had to go. So her lips were stitched shut, then hanged, left to die. A well-constructed suicide note, a perfectly written lie. So they actually stitched, uh, sorry, stitched her mouth shut and hanged her. And that is how she died. And they have uh, made a fake um, goodbye letter so that no one would suspect and they would think that she actually hanged herself and yeah so it's pretty cruel actually um, all of these uh, dolls from this series have died pretty in a pretty cruel way I guess so and the uh, morticians are Damien and Ed as usually and the date of death is May 12th 1905 and there's a little stamp there and uh, yeah so that's about it for Ella Vantera and tell me down below in the comments how do you like her and what do you think of her new um, mold for the mouth stitch uh, thing because as I heard this is a brand new mold they have never used it before I really like it I, actually because I think it's really gory and, and uh, scary and also tell me down below what do you think of the way she died because I think it's really really cruel <laughs> and uh, leave me a thumbs up if you like my review and subscribe for more uh, living dead dolls and other kind of toy and doll reviews thank you so much for watching bye